Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I have grabbed some old bits and pieces. And I mean old. There are retired colours on these bits and pieces out of my Use It Up box. So I have grab, so, grabbed some um, ink blended watercolour pieces that I've splattered. Hey Pamela, I don't even know if I said Ellen Woolbridge Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I think I'm coming down with a 3D cold. I've been good all winter so far, but I think I'm coming down with something. I'm not feeling fantabulous today. Hey Viv, no, thanks for joining. So I've got, um, I've got these uh, ink blender pieces and what I'm going to do I'm going to grab out my live video and I have gone into my archives of my YouTube videos and there is a video let me see if I can see when I published it and I don't think I can only if I go into the video my god everyone's joining hello Hello Donna, hello Wedge, hello Diane, hello Sherry, hey Deb. Yes, they are pretty colours and equating them to our new colours because I know Marina Mist is in there. I'm going Balmy Blue Bermuda Bay and Pool Party. So they would they be the, the colours that you can use now. Um, I wonder why this isn't playing. I'm trying to see how old this video is. Seriously. It's got to be old. When was it published? I don't know. It was a long time ago. Hello, Sheila. But what I am going to do... Do you think we'd turn up? I don't know. Why? Of course I think people will turn up. I just never know who. I, I like that you guys turn up. So what I'm going to do, I am going to share how to do this ink blending. So I already have, as I said, a really old YouTube on it. And I have just posted that in the comments. So this is from my Use It Up box. Um, and I've grabbed out a few more gems. This is from my card the other day using the stitch shape, stitch rectangle framelits and the Free as a Bird stamp set. This one is using the Daisy Lane stamp set. This is from a project that I haven't shown yet. Um, totally ink stained. Love that. Love to hear that. Um, oh no, so I was surprised. Sorry, Deb. I was surprised there was like this whole rush of messages all at one time. Hey, Adele. Um, yeah, I hope it's not raining, Adele. We've been having showers on and off all morning and it got quite heavy. 2017. Thank you, Jason. It feels really old, but it's not that old. On the new YouTube thing, it, um, didn't tell me the year it was published because YouTube have changed their oh uh, in the process of changing their back end and um, this is the card that I made on the video so this is another ink blended background using one of our old butterfly stamp sets so just to show you another color combo once again there are a few um retired colors but this one I was tagged in a post um yesterday and I went ooh, ooh. um and huh, because there are ink blended pieces I found um heaps of other ink blended pieces so this might come along in a Christmas card coming yes I love the blues and this is an old periscope video if anyone wants to stalk me on periscope hey leash thanks for popping in on this dreary day good morning Kathy good morning Chris um so this is what i did i ink blended i clear heat embossed and then i removed the ink 
So this was something Jennifer Maguire did forever ago. Oh, it's raining there as well. Look at us, Jason, matching in the weather. And this is an ink blender piece with white ink to get a bokeh effect. So um, I've done quite a lot of weird, wonderful ink blending things over the years. These are all on uh, watercolour paper. But what I am going to do, oh, and I'm just because I use butterflies in the other one and I have more of those vellum butterflies, the teeny tiny vellum butterflies, I have more of them left over. So um, I have them out as well. So this is now empty. The vellum butterflies from the... I want to say the stamp set and I'm going to get it wrong and it's oh my god do you think I can find it in front of me I can't oh from butterfly gala periscope goodness me yes I still have friends that use periscope Adele so um, if you want to stalk me on periscope or I may find the video and make it live on my YouTube because all my periscope videos are sitting in my archive in um, YouTube but they're unlisted so I I may dig them out but let's get on to this card I don't think there's going to be much stamping I think it's all going to be um, assembling hey Suzanne you're not that far from me at all here on the dreary central coast as well as Julie Julie is just a little further north of me hey Shelly okay flick you guys around turn off my uh, light so we don't have any shadows and get wondering what this card may turn out to be today because I actually don't have any set plants which is a bit scary, but a bit not. Sorry, guys, I accidentally turned you around in this process. Okay. Just give me two shakes. There we go. Hopefully no one got too seasick then, so sorry about that. Oh, look, I have 32 people watching. Wow, welcome everyone. That's amazing. I will go and turn off my light, turn off my light so I get rid of these shadows and come back and we will see what we make with all these beautiful bits and bobs. if you turn off the right light doesn't it it so helps if you turn off the right light okay just going to bring you guys over a touch and we're looking pretty straight and that'll do for me okay let me see I'm missing comments left right and center here so let's see if I can grab these. Hey Maureen, thanks for joining. Hey Nicole, hey Christy. Um, yes, Periscope is still alive. My friend of mine did, uh, Jamie, that quite often uh, pops in here and says hello. She did a Periscope video the other day with a couple of, um, a couple of the group that are still around and still use Periscope. So, I have equated the colours on these three scraps. I'm not going to use the three scraps, but this is what I had left from a project many, many, many moons ago. Um, and I've equated them to these three colours. I have a scrap of vellum, which I have cut with the stitch labels dies. So we have that. And we have these two sentiments. Not quite sure what I'm going to use. And I have these four butterflies and they are vellum butterflies as well and I have one here so I'm going to pop these up in the corner so they don't flutter away on us because we all know butterflies like fluttering away so yes um, I don't know and I've also pulled out my embossing folders which are sitting next to me as well I don't know don't know what I'm going to do don't even know what coloured card base I'm going to use at this stage. Yes, I love the sets that I've pulled out and used. So this is Daisy Lane. This uh, sentiment 
although I think I know which one I'm going to choose mm, that one works but I think this one will work a tad better I think the length of this one will work better but we'll see we shall see we shall see and I am sort of or I've already been pre-thinking I'm just going to pull those colors away oh my dear word apparently I'm going to make a craft lunch when I have a clean desk just just up there see I don't want to cover up too much of the ink blender piece now let's grab a card base to start off with because that will give me a starting point spatially that I can work with let's see if I happen to have a pre-done night no, I don't have a pre-done Bermuda Bay let's see if we have a pool party one it may not end up as pool party but at least I'll have a card base to work with yes I do have a pre-made pool party actually that is so not going to work at all it might end up being white or vanilla at this stage see see what happens when I have no idea what I'm doing I know I know Julie they certainly are hey Kathy hey Julie uh, I said Julie number two Julie I've got Julie R and Julie C um, you think I'd have some things organized but I don't alas I'm not that organized today okay I'm going to have to cut a thick whisper white card base and see how we go because this is what it's turning into and my trimmer if you were my trimmer and you weren't living in its home where would you be living I can tell I haven't unpacked from it's under my team swaps from the weekend okay got my trimmer oh thank you so much for popping in and saying hi Linda I do appreciate it you enjoy those grandchildren I've got a message from mine today so I'm assuming she's um, off sick from school which is not a good thing oh I do I have 32 it's rather I know my when my mum came in at the last of um, my video the other day I said when I said goodbye, I had 28 people watching and she went, that's so cool. So, yeah. And she bought me flowers the other day, which was nice. I got beautiful Bird of Paradise flowers sitting on my dining room table, which is pretty much at my front door. So that was lovely that she spoiled me a bit. She cuts them from her garden and um, a friend's garden at the moment and I've even got some doubles which is nice hello Vicky thank you so much for joining haven't seen you in a while but I will see you see you in November okay so we have a card base to work from um, yeah I'm not liking this piece unless I cut down the card I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and this is looking really muddy here, which I'm not. I don't know. I think it might have got wet somewhere along the way. But if I use this end and I cover up the muddiness, it'll look really good. I think. And I think this colour up here may actually be almost a Pacific point. I can't remember all the blues that retired. Ah, oh, you've been away. Oh no, I'm so sorry uh, to hear that, Vicky. Yeah, and that covers up the muddiness quite nicely. Although, I do think I need something on the background. But, 
we have decided on a piece or I have decided on a piece hooray okay I'm going to cut this down cut that down just I want it just a touch longer then oh watercolor papers just that touch harder to cut but anyway hello Mimi thank you for joining um how, oh, I did want to duck out this morning and run some errands, uh, but um, alas, it poured down with rain and I had to go in and out of my car to do things, so I decided to stay home and not do what I was going to do. Okay. because that was much easier than getting drenched, which I didn't want to do. And now it's pretty much sunny outside. Well, it's sunny, but the ground is still very wet. No doubt we'll have showers come along, but the showers are dearly needed at the moment. It's been very, very dry winter, extremely dry winter. I'm just giving this a bit of a cut down. Now this piece isn't perfect. I must have dropped it a touch. And I'm just, if that piece will go away. And I want to take a sliver off the bottom. Sliver. That is as straight as it is going to get until it moved. It does help if you put your finger on the arm to secure and it moved. There we go. That's better. Uh, now I want to slither off the top and I can't cut straight. Oh no. Yeah, it must be the day for rain. It absolutely is, but it's good. It's uh, wanted and needed. So, yeah. Sorry, as I concentrate here for a second. Okay, right, got it. Got it, got it. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think it's been dry everywhere and I somehow just managed to get my piece of vellum in the bin, which is not helpful. Hmm. Now that I've trimmed that down, I'm not sure. I think I think it's the card base colour. Or the fact that there's a lack of texture. I'm not exactly sure what I'm not liking or it needs something under it. I need to add another colour, a pop colour. I'm thinking maybe, 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 only because it's sitting here. <gasps> My butterflies are going kamikaze. I knew that it happened. Oh, why don't we choose a colour from these butterflies? Um, so we've got balmy blue, we've got granny apple green, got, oh, as I wet the ink, because I'm smart, thinking maybe a touch of gorgeous grape, because it would be my favourite colour, and purple and blues go so well together. And I haven't used it in a while, although I think I'm going to be using a lot of it tomorrow because I'm designing my 40th birthday invitations tomorrow with a friend she's popping over and we'll have some fun okay is that the right length yes it is so we'll have some fun designing those I have Great idea, Jason. I never, ever, ever thought of doing that. Never, ever, ever thought of that. 
That's a great idea. Okay. Add a bit of this. Or do I want to put this with some white? No. So, come on glue. Work for me. Have you got glues? Uh, it might be time for a new one. I've been holding on to this one for a while. Mm. Okay. New glue. I wonder where I'd find one today. Okay. I'm doing well today, guys. Doing really, really well. Okay. New glue. Where is my zipper opening here? I just normally use my nail to start it off. Okay, brand new one. This should work like a dream. I can't believe I never thought of that, Jason. Such, such a good idea. Okay. And because I'm using scraps, I'm doing a bit of um, just running with it. And I'm sticking this straight to the scrap rather than any other way around. And then I will just trim from there. Okay, because just make sure we're flush to the end, which we are. But I swear I just moved it. Okay, the other thing I think I might do is grab a circle punch and like put a circle under there, like a purple layer under here. But if you were my one and a half inch punch, I would have. That was dyes all over the floor, guys. Now, how does this work? One and a half inch punch will be perfect with that. Right. Okay, so now that that's all adhered, my smooth sailing dies are all over the flooring behind me. It's going to say in front of me, but that's not. Right, okay. I always, if I've stuck something down, I always use my trimmer arm as the guide for where I've cut it. So, I've done that again. I don't think, oh, this is just wide enough. I'm not so. Um, Janine, it's a Facebook thing and Cheryl isn't here, I don't think. Cheryl has been telling people how to fix it and because I've been crafting and I don't have that issue because I'm reading the comments off my laptop, I'm not exactly sure. Girls, can you please give Janine a help? Or Jeannie, sorry. Okay, right, that's that panel done. I still keep on going back to this piece. Never know, this might have some blending on it at one stage, at some stage as well. So, thinking, no, because the muddy bits on this side. Maybe some GG ink splatters. Yes, 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 yes. GG. Now I'm thinking G gorgeous grape. Yes. I'm thinking it needs something. But we shall get there. Actually, I'm doing a very similar layout to the other card that I did. Now what I'm going to commit here 
but I warn you, do not use wet glue on your vellum, otherwise you will start curling it because it's wet. You will start curling it. So I'll have to use glue dots or some snail. But I'm just laying this out for the moment. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. I do like the splatters or some ink blending idea. And once again, I have lost three of my butterflies. They're very, very pesky and that'll add a nice pop of colour as well. Um, but I'm thinking possibly not gorgeous grape. I'm possibly thinking some of the colours that are in the butterflies here. Now I'm going to take the butterflies totally off my area here. But I do like your idea, Jason, of using... I've got craft launches happening everywhere here today. Okay, so let's... These are my beloved Stampin' Right markers. So we have Gorgeous Grape. We have Daffodil Delight. We have... I'm trying to think what other colours are in here. Barmy Blue. Let me check here. Barmy Blue is this baby. Barmy Blue and... I think there's some Calypso Coral as well and David is just walking in the door and some of that because we're already using quite a bit of purple so I'm thinking that I don't know I'll have a look and I can always add purple hello and welcome Sue thank you so much for joining try swiping left or right thank you Jason I have to turn yes I know if you have it in I know if you I don't use um, my tablet as my second screen because I had to keep keep on touching the screen to see the comments but I know there has been a whole nother issue as well well I had a little miss dog who has been to Sydney Hills busting to go blue Okay, so just to flick, I'm using the, mm, I'm using the um, lid of my Stampin' Right marker to flick with. I just don't know if this will be enough, but I can always add, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm going to say let Google be your friend unless someone else in the chat can help. Just that is juicy enough. These splatters are really small though. I don't know. But it's adding some colour to the background that will tie back in to the butterflies. I don't know if you can see this splatter. I'll, um, once I'm finished splattering, I will uh, bring it up closer and show you. Not sure. Ah, I know why this isn't splattering because it's dry. So, out of my subtles family I will show you how I re-ink my my stamp and write markers now this is definitely balmy blue and this I I have mis re-inked ones and this is balmy blue so all I do is I undo my re-inker and I add a drop to the brush end. Now that did come off completely. So I will, now I have to be careful that this doesn't sop all the way through. Now this is going to be really inky, but that's okay. 
there we go and this will um, go into the barrel but normally it doesn't flick off like that okay I still know okay I'm going to hold on because I can see this being a tad of a disaster here so I'm going to discard this piece of paper completely grab another one because I know I've got one up here I am going to have to let that balmy blue soak in a bit and check I found yeah my daffodil delight is also quite on the dry side so I have my reinkers in our wood mount boxes in colour families okay so we have daffodil delight yes correct okay and I will be a little more I could I am hello Miss Jamie when did you slide on in and I missed you totally? Oh, David, would you be able to come open this bottle for me? Because I really... Oh, it's okay. I just got it. I could, Jamie. You are exactly right. Okay. And then I twist it. Okay. That's a bit better. Sorry. Had that lid in my mouth. Which was not helpful. Um, you are so true about a block. <sighs> Look at me making all the noise and the sounds today. Okay, so this is, isn't even a drop, it's probably only half a drop. Um, I can, you can Jamie, but I don't have great luck with pulling things out and breaking them. No, oh yes sort of kind of working would have been better had I have not used um, let's see how this is going actually this isn't going too badly but I'll leave this to soak in and have a play and a wonder yes oh you do and you okay that's why I like just doing the tip. Okay, yeah, I think that's why I have dried mine out, especially this winter, uh, because I don't know if you can hear behind me, I do have my little heater going. And my markers sit right on an external wall as well. So this is actually very, very subtle, a lot more subtle than what I anticipated, but that's okay. Oops, please tell me, no, I didn't, but that's okay, all is good, right. I do have some yellow on there, some Daffodil Delight, which is great. Now, I think looking at this, I will add in some gorgeous grape, which I'm assuming is this one. Yeah, I'd so crush the tips. That's what I'm worried about. I was surprised that I have ink all over my hands from doing all of this. No, we are not. 
across. And while I'm here, I will wipe off this block because we can all anticipate what I am going to do. Okay, let's see that this, see, this is nice and juicy, my gorgeous grape. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that at that. Pop my ring because up there out of the way. Hopefully that is enough contrast, which I think it is actually. It's quite a nice bit of contrast to our bits and bobs that we have here. And then all I need to do is add my butterflies and we're done. I think I like this. Yes, I do. Perfect. And I'm liking the combo of the blues and the gorgeous grape. Hello, Miss Julie. Thank you for joining. It is raining there. Um, it's currently not raining here, but it has been raining all morning and it's really quite wet. So, yeah, do you guys have a use it up box kind of thing? Because I've actually got quite a few things in my use it up box. Because they either go in my use it up box or they go into the stamp set case. Um, do I want to lift this up? Ellen, did you see Jason's comment? Jason, 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 don't think you saw my comment. If you go closer, you get darker. Yes, I did get that. Um, but I think all of my markers are at such a point that they all need some love and attention. So I don't, I wasn't doing it from that far away. I think it is just um, the ink levels in them as we saw so before i stick this on i will show you the ink splatters and it is quite uh fine there are some bigger pieces but that's okay i don't mind it fine it's just enough hey kathy ah uh, your nan's orange tupperware container i just have a cheap shop a cheap shot um shop rather a cheap shot container i can't even show you it at the moment because there are some things that i can't show you at the moment in there okay love it love it love it um helps if we're not Upside down, Miss Jane. Oh, I have a piece of vellum that actually needs to be popped out. Glad I saw that. I am thinking I might like some dimension on this. So I will grab... Not my baby ones, my normal dimensionals, and pop this up. One, two, and I'm thinking I do need some extra snail on these ends. Oh, this snail, I swear, is being the biggest pain in the behind ever. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. 
subscribe. Okay, that wasn't for me. But yes, I do also have my own YouTube channel. My lives do, these lives get put on my YouTube channel. And uh, no, you can't edit it, Jamie. I personally actually don't have time for editing. So the lives work well for me and that way I'm real and I just am who I am. Don't be a chicken, just do it. Oh, thanks Jason. Jason, did you see my talk at the Leaders Lounge? Is that what made you want to try again? Okay, my hands don't want to work at this point in time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all my butterflies on glue dots and then use my scissors to scatter them throughout my project. And then we will call this done. I didn't know what to share today, so I just decided to delve into my use it up box because I'm in this precarious time between catalogs that I don't want to show you too much from the new catalog because you can't order it yet. Okay, so I do want to grab this yellow. That went on my jeans. At least it didn't go on the floor. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this one here. Pop that one there. I'm just going with it. I really am. They're not going in any particular spots. They're just getting plonked. Um, not really liking how that looks on the blue. I pulled that one off. Hmm. I find if you talk to your craft things nicely, they generally do what you want them to do. Okay, swap these two around. So that one can go there. This one can go up here because purple looks great on blue and then our green one can go here no that's a bit too close wonder if this one will want to be changed for a third time there we go so I've got three going around the sentiment to frame that and then the other two to create some movement along the card. Okay, that's our card done. Calling it done. I have used my ink blender piece from my Use It Up box. My um, Butterfly Gala Vellum Butterflies also from my Use It Up box. Daisy Lane... Um, stamped sentiment and flowers from my use it up box the stitched label vellum piece from my use it up box so all I've done is grab some scrap of um, gorgeous grape and a thick whisper white card base I know they're always happy little butterflies happy little butterflies and just to finish it off I will put my details on the back because you never know who may contact you 
and who may say to the recipient of the card, oh, I love that card. And if that card person isn't a card maker, they can say, oh, this is who made it. And that way you're giving credit to yourself for making the card. So I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you weren't here earlier, I do have a two-year-old um, YouTube video showing how to do this ink blended technique. So that is sitting there out in the ether. I have used my Stampin' Right markers for the blending. I've used the one and a half inch circle punch and I'm only putting one piece back into the use it up box which is this one that I didn't use and I've also used reinkers today to um, reink some of these markers thank you so much thank you for bearing with me through all the craft launches and my brain fog apparently today <laughs> yes please do I thought it's a pre-made piece but I have done a video on it so it's not hard to do it just takes a bit of time and then I flicked it with some water and that takes away some of the ink and gives you that splattered look so it was sort of good that I used little splatters in the background because I had the big splatters already on the ink blender piece. So if you guys need any help with anything, please don't hesitate to ask. And I will see you guys soon in my next video. If you have any suggestions of anything you want to see or from things I have made and not shown on video, please just drop me a line and I will endeavour to uh, show you those things. Have a great day. I hope it is a little sunnier than it is here for you guys and I'll catch you next time. Bye.